Hello, everyone, and welcome to our mindful closing for day two of our conference. I'm happy to be announcing Lance McGee, our, my, our trauma-informed wellness and mindfulness consultant for this closing. Thank you. Thank you, Haley. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to this moment, our first time here. I hope you're having a good day and I hope you're taking care of yourself. You know, we do this wonderful work around healing, learning, educating, and we always got to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves. Because, you know, one thing that you're going to do every night when you go home or every day is you're going to you're going to plug in your cell phone. And so, because you want it to be 100% tomorrow, right? So how do we plug in ourselves to be 100% tomorrow, knowing that the work that we do is a lot and sometimes it can be really, really heavy. And that's why self-care, having a self-care practice is so important. And so I wanna share with you some things that I do with my staff that I work with in East Oakland at Frick United Academy of Language. Um, every time we have our staff PDs, I lead a guided um, mindful meditation. And sometimes we do some fun, playful movement to kind of get out of our heads and get back into our bodies. So with that said, I want to share with, share with you some of the things that we do. We'll call this the uh, Wacky Wellness Wednesday. So you have permission to be silly in this moment with me and with yourself, right? So here's what I want you to do. Let's make fun faces, right? Okay, everybody try this. Wherever you are, I hope nobody's staring at you, but if they are, oh, well, <laughs> who cares? <laughs> All right, so wherever you're sitting, I want you to first start off by lifting your eyebrows up, okay? Just try that, eyebrows up. We're, we're gonna make fun, wacky faces, right? Eyebrows up, keep the eyebrows up. Now, at the same time, make a big smile and keep the eyebrows up. Good, <laughs> good. Now you know how I feel sometimes. <laughs> good. And if you see somebody, by, if anybody's in your office or in the classroom or wherever you are, just look at them and go, hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> good. <laughs> you know, the research shows that when you smile, you're actually naturally turning on dopamine and the endorphins, right? So this might be something you might want to consider doing. It's just kind of like smiling like as much as you can throughout the day, right? Okay, now let's try this. Keep the smiles up big, right? But the eyebrows come down. Eyebrows come down, but you keep smiling. Pretend the sun is in your face and you're happy to be outside. Good, good. Now keep the eyebrows down and now the smiles go down. You're now making a sad, bad face. Got the sad face, the eyebrows are down. Now add the shoulder. Take a look at this. Can you go? Bah, bah, bah. Just pretend cry. Bah, 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 bah. And if somebody's looking at you, just tell them, foo la la, foo la la, foo la la. Right? This is Wacky Wellness Wednesday. Good. Now keep the face, keep the frowns down, but the eyebrows, the eyebrows go back up. Yeah, can you do it? Keep the frowns down, the eyebrows go back up. Good. Uh-huh. Good. Now keep the eyebrows up and bring the frowns back up to a smile. Good. And then take your hand and just pretend to go over your face and relax it. Very good. That was excellent. Oh, you know what? Let me show you another one for Wacky Wellness Wednesday Mindful Movement. How about this? Keep your shoulders still and just push your head forward, right? isolating the neck, you know, stretching the neck a little bit, pushing it forward, keep the shoulders still and push the head back. Good. And forward and back. Good. Isolating back and forth. Good. Now let's make it a little sillier because this is Wacky Wellness Wednesday Mind Fool, F-O-O-L, movement. Okay. How about this one? Show me that happy face. Smiles up big, eyebrows up. Now stick the head out. Yeah, I'm more exaggerated. You're a cartoon. Good and relax. How about this one? Can you go like this with the shoulder? Can you go? Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. 
Good. We just went up one, and down, kind of like a wave, right? Now let's reverse it, going the other way, all right? Good. Just moving the shoulders around, getting the blood circulating, moving in funny ways. And these are things you can, if you work with students or adults, right? There's no age limit on these kinds of things. These are wonderful ways to do kind of like what we might call a brain break, just breaking things up. And what a wonderful gift to give your students the chance after processing information, thinking about it, having these conversations to like time out everybody. We're just gonna have a mindful break, right? We're gonna have a brain break and you know, you can guide them through some of the facial stuff that I was just sharing with you, right? Um, but we'll do one more and then we're gonna ease into a wellness wisdom mindful moment. Let's do one more exercise when thinking about mindfulness, when thinking about like really being in your body and you know we have all these um, sensations that we feel and experience. Here's here's a really fun one. Take your hands and just bring your fingertips close to each other as close as you can without touching, right? Just try and see how close, right? And just notice, right? How close can you get all of your fingers, your thumb, close, and then just notice how that feels. Take a deep breath, inhale, and release, and exhale. Good, shake that out for a moment. Now here's the next part of the exercise. This time, you're gonna do the same thing without looking, right? So watch me, I'm gonna close my eyes, and I'm gonna try and see how close I can bring my fingers together just by feeling and observing without even looking. Go ahead and try that, close your eyes, and just look, I mean, don't look, and see how close you can bring your fingers together. And when you think you're there, go ahead and open your eyes. Oh my gosh, I was so far away. How about you? How did you do, right? And so when we think about mindfulness, we think about like experiencing our inner world where we're not always looking, but just noticing what are the feeling sensations, right? And so those that's a great exercise to share with your students or just practice when you just wanna take a mental break, right? Um, okay, so that was fun. I hope you got something out of that. Uh, now I wanna offer you, just kind of slow things down a little bit on this wacky wellness, wisdom, mindful moment. So I'm gonna invite you to sit nice and comfortable, okay? And we're gonna take a mental break. We're gonna, do a meditation where, think of it as like bringing oxygen to the mind, right? Because we take breaks for everything else, right? Coffee break, tea break, some people go out the building and smoke, but a break is a break. And it's so important to break the day up. And if you can do a, a self um, meditation for yourself, what a wonderful gift to give yourself and um, not have to always be processing information all the time right? Because we think about a lot of things, right? So sit nice and comfortable in your chair. Make sure your shoulders are nice and relaxed. Let me get my mindful bell here. This bell that I use, it's called a vibratone. It has a nice warm sound. And I use it for all, all my mindful meditation moments. And so with your shoulders nice and relaxed, I'm going to invite you to close your eyes. And not everybody feels comfortable closing their eyes. And if that's your experience, you can do a soft gaze where you're just looking down in front of you. You might be in an environment where you don't really want to close your eyes. You want to kind of, you know, just observe a little bit of what's going on. But the idea is to really just be quiet within. So I'm going to tap the bell one more time. I'm going to invite you to invite the oxygen through your nose down into your lower diaphragm. And then breathe out the nose. And then breathe back in your nose. And as you slowly breathe in, see how much oxygen you can bring into your stomach, your lower diaphragm, because the more oxygen you bring in, the more air you're allowing more oxygen to go into the bloodstream. And that builds your immune system as well. It's amazing how much power there is in breath. So release all thoughts of the past or anything worrying about the future. 
they have their place. But in this moment, I just want to invite you to just breathe. Let the breath be your anchor. Let that, the breathing just be what just kind of pulls you in this moment where you're highlighting the present moment. Breathing, just noticing your, your amazing gifted body, your amazing self. And if the mind begins to wander in thoughts, you can say thinking and return to the breath as you're just grounding in, transitioning this part of the day, recharging your energy by slowly breathing in and slowly breathing out. Just really take in noticing what it feels like just to be with your breath. Just noticing those feeling sensations of the oxygen going into the body, affecting the nervous system. Just really be with that, honoring the breath. The breath is so powerful. It's the natural regulator. And just take an inventory. If you're noticing that maybe energetically you're noticing, oh, I'm feeling a little tired or I'm wanting to take a nap. That is a signal that's letting you know that, yeah, you are tired, so it's my hope that you're gonna do something about that later. And maybe you're gonna to go to bed earlier, whatever works for you. But when we slow things down, we're really noticing how we're really feeling and what's going on within. Hmm. You, be, you may be noticing a, a, some other feeling sensations, maybe a stiffness somewhere. If that's the case, just imagine breathing into that space. In this moment, I'd like to invite you to imagine right here in the mind's eye. Imagine what will your self-care look like for the rest of the day? What will you do to take care of your nervous system, your immune system, to boost yourself? How much water will you drink? How much rest will you get? What kind of boundaries might need to be in place to preserve your energy? There are so many ways to take care of yourself. What, will, what does it look like for you? See it in the mind's eye. See it and be it as you name it and claim it to be your source of wellness and well-being. Hmm. Next, I'd like to invite you to open up the heart space of grace and gratitude as there's always something to be grateful for. See if you can think of something that maybe you haven't really thought about, like the fact that you have a roof over your head, uh, access to turning the heat on, access to hot water, fire, all at the turn of a switch. Or maybe you have some favorite clothing that you like to wear in the practice of taking nothing for granted, but honoring all that is there, that is available, that you have access to, that you have resources with for yourself. What are you grateful for? Maybe it's somebody in your life. Maybe it's somebody you haven't really thought about that you're friends with, but you're grateful for that friendship. What are you grateful for? Be with this idea of gratitude and the practice of taking nothing for granted, breathing in and breathing out. Grace and gratitude. And in closing, 
I'd like to invite you to say out loud or say it to yourself, whatever feels right to you. May I be peaceful, healthy, and happy. May the students, my clients, and their families be peaceful, healthy, and happy. May my family, my friends, my community, and my peers be peaceful, healthy, and happy. May the country and the whole world be peaceful, healthy, and happy. And so it is. Thank you everybody for spending a little time with me and being silly, playful, hopefully laughing at me or with me. And um, I'll be back tomorrow morning with another mindful moment. So maybe I'll see you then. And if I don't see you, I'll see you whenever I see you. Take good care. Stay healthy. Stay happy. Keep learning. Keep loving. Keep growing. Bye-bye.